In this segment, we're going to take, uh, we're going to talk about Richardson's extrapolation formula, which is based on trapezoidal rule, the multiple segment trapezoidal rule. And we'll take an example to see that how we can use the Richardson extrapolation formula to come up with a better estimate of the integral. We are given this integral here, going from 8 to 30. Uh, 2,000 log of 14,000 divided by, sorry, 140,000 minus 2,100t minus 9.8t dt. This integral is given to us. Also given to us is are the values of the integral which have been calculated by the multiple segment trapezoidal rule. N is the number of segments used for the multiple segment trapezoidal rule. And the approximate value of the integral is given to us. For If we use one segment trapezoidal rule, we get 11868. If you want to use two segments, you get 11266. And if you use uh, four segments, you get one, 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 three. And if you use eight segments, you get one, one, zero, seven, four. So this has already been done that people are using the multiple segments uh, trapezoidal rule, and these are the values which they're getting for the approximate value by using multiple segment trapezoidal rule. And the question is being asked is that find a better estimate find a better estimate of the integral. We are asked to find the better estimate of the integral uh, using uh, Richardson's extrapolation formula. So how do I go about finding a better estimate of the integral using Richardson's extrapolation formula based on these numbers which are given to us? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to, let's suppose, go ahead and find out well, how do I get a better estimate from using one and two segments, because all it requires is that having the value with n segments and double the segments. Then I'm going to just go ahead and take these two, and I'm just going to take these two, and so on and so forth, and see that whether I get a better and better estimate. So let's do one of them, and then we will go ahead and look, uh, just write down what other ones are. So for example, if I'm going to use the approximate value using two segments, and then I'm going to use the approximate value using four segments. The approximate value using two segments is 11266, and the approximate value using four segments is 11113. How can I use the approximate value by using two segment trapezoidal rule and the four segment trapezoidal rule using the Richardson extrapolation formula to get a better estimate? So again, the formula is the approximate value obtained by using two n segments. That the true value is approximately equal to this plus one third. The approximate value obtained two n segments minus the approximate value using n segments. That is the formula. So if I choose n equal to two, I get true value is approximately equal to the approximate value obtained using four segments plus one-third the approximate value using four segments minus the approximate value using two segments. And I have those numbers there anyway. Uh, the four segment is one, 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 three, plus one-third, four segments is one, 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 three, minus the approximate value using two segments is one, one, two, six, six. And the value which I obtain is 11062. That's what I obtain as the true value. Again, it's an estimate of the true value by extrapolating it. Basically, what you are doing by using Richardson extrapolation formula, you are extrapolating to h being 0 or n being infinite. That's what you are trying to do by using the Richardson extrapolation formula. So if I write down, uh, write down a table, what I get by using, uh, this, this is the number which I get by using two segments and four segments. I'm going to write, so this is the number which I obtain by using uh, two and four segments. So I'm going to show you what the numbers are obtained by using one and two segments and uh, two and four, which we just calculated, and four and eight. So let's go and look at, uh, look at what we're getting there. 
So we had 1, 2, 4, and 8. And this was the number which we had by using multiple segment trapezoid rule, which was given to us, 1, 1, 8, uh, 6, 8, 1, 1, 2, 6, 6, 1, 1, 1, 1, 3, and 1, 1, 0, 7, 4. So we took these two numbers and we got 1, 1, 0, 6, 2. In fact, if you take these two numbers, uh, you get uh, 1, 1, 0, 6, 5. And if you take these two numbers, you get 1, 1, 0, 6, 1. So you can do these, you can do this one as an exercise at home. You can do this exercise as your homework assignment and find out what if, the, if you agree with those two numbers. In fact, uh, the exact integral for this case is 11061, up to five significant digits. Now, I'm not saying that uh, you're always going to get uh, the exact value up to a certain number of digits by a certain number of significant digits by doing Richardson extrapolation, but in this case, it does turn out to be that once I take the values obtained by four and eight segments, that's the value which I get, which is same as the exact integral. So it's very important to understand that how this Richardson extrapolation works because it will form then the basis for Romberg integration, which makes it even uh, a better estimator of the integral itself. But before I wrap up, I want to show you uh, some of the things which we talked about that how uh, the true error changes. So I'm going to go back uh, and draw a table right here. So I'm going to show you the table which we had before where we had n as the number of segments and we had the approximate value using n segments and we had 1, 2, 4, and 8. This was something which was given to us, right? And we had 1, 1, 8, 6, 8 here and then we had 1, 1, 2, 6, 6 here and we had 1, 1, 1, 3 here and then we had 1, 1, 1, 0, uh, 7, 4 here. Uh, that's what we had as the approximate value of the integrals. Now, what I want to do is I want to show you the true error here. I didn't uh, want to uh, illustrate this before we took the example because that would have then um, created uh, some confusion because we are talking about true errors now. Uh, but that's why I'm showing you the end. We know that the true value is exactly equal to 11061 up to five significant digits. So we use this true value to calculate what the true error is. The true error is here is minus 1807, minus 807. The true error is two, minus 205. Uh, the true error here is minus 51.5. And the true error here is uh, minus 12.9. And what I want you to observe is that as you are doubling the number of segments, see what happens to this one. The true error here is almost one quarter of this one. When you go again, double the number of segments, this true error here is w about one quarter of that. It's not exactly one quarter uh, because the true error is approximately proportional to one by n squared. And same thing here. As you are going here, from here to here, the true error is getting approximately quartered. So that's what the basis of the Richardson extrapolation formula is. Uh, we were able to show it in a previous segment in how we derived the formula to show that, that the true error is approximately approached to 1 by n squared. Here we are just illustrating it, the fact, with an example that, in fact, that's what happens for most integrals. And that's the end of uh, this segment.